What is up everyone? I'm Stonewall and I am so excited to show you this subway set from Lost Bricks. Such an amazing set. You got three different floors, tons of detail, minifigures. Man, it was just an awesome set. A few quick facts before we get started with this one. It is set number 1031. It has a whopping 1,753 pieces. It is an awesome subway scene with the subway down below and the building on top. It says Shanghai Subway on the sign right there. Man, just an awesome set. But before we take a closer look, let's go ahead and watch this build video.
All right guys, hope you liked that build video. It took a lot of work, it took forever, <laughs> taking pictures between each piece. Um, a lot of intricate little pieces on here, not just brick on top of brick. But man, I love this set. It is just so good for laws. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is original. If it's inspired or copied after something else, uh, let me know in the comments. But either way, I'm so happy to have this set. So I guess let's just dive into the details. As you can see, it's on this kind of pedestal on the bottom. Uh, some signs that say Subway. Um, there are a lot of stickers in this set, and a decent amount of them cover multiple bricks. Usually I don't really like that. I'm glad LEGO stopped doing that. Uh, Laws has a tendency to do that a lot. This one I didn't mind so much because this is going to be a display piece for me. I don't plan on taking this apart, so I'm not going to need these bricks for anything else. So above this pedestal on this side we have the Subway track. It's kind of, and it's got a car in there. It's kind of cut away there. Nice blue and white color scheme, uh, yellow seats. It has seats, places to put minifigures, some poles here, lights up top, headlight. Looks really cool. Um, and then you have the landing track right next to it. You got the gray, the yellow line that you're not supposed to cross. What else we got here? We got a couple benches to sit down when you're waiting for the train. Three different posters here. What do they say? They say Pop, I guess that's probably a TV show or something, rock star show, and you know, some musical festival. And then next to that you got a subway performer. He is singing on this microphone and has a huge speaker set right here. I imagine everyone in the subway can hear him. Got a little sign indicator up here. This is line four. And then you can see the track down here. That's only kind of gripe I have about this section of the build is that the track is here but half of this car is right here so the other rail tie should be the other rail should be about here not here but it's whatever I guess it just gives the impression that that's the track so coming around the side you, there's a little detail here underneath the gutter I guess there's a mouse uh, going after this crystallized blue piece you probably noticed it on the end of the subway, there's a tree growing here with a bunch of leaves and flowers, which I think it looks cool, but I've never seen a tree in a subway station, so I think there's probably some uh, structural integrity problems here, I'm guessing. I imagine it could get in the way of the train, so probably not a good thing. On the back side here, we got some plumbing fixtures, um, got a little fish in a barrel that this mouse is going after, um, water dripping here, and another one of those little blue crystal things not sure what that is but I mean even look at the detail even the gauge here for the pressure gauge for the handle a little bottle often there's trash around in the subway all right so now if we go around we've got this escalator with the handrail which is nice little decal here um, the escalator looks like it's on this kind of rock structure which looks pretty cool and as you come up the escalator you have the entrance to the subway uh, you have a little guy here. Uh, we'll look at the minifigures here in a little bit. But you have the little gates that let you go in, either in or out. Looks like this one is for exiting the subway. The green lights are on this side. Blue little gate doors there. Little cheese slopes there, probably where you put your ticket or card to get out. A little decal there, danger, no climbing. So as you come out, um, exit out of there. You can see the red lights that you're supposed to go out that way. Um, even though there's stickers on the ground that's saying going in that way, so a little conflicting information there. But I guess it's scaled down. It couldn't have an in and out section. Next to it, you have the ticket booth. So on the outside, there's a little chain fence with a little stool there, window. There's even a little hole there that you can pass the money and ticket through, get your tickets. 
there is a little welcome sign that has, shows the next two trains and what time they leave as long as the little tick, ticket check-in sticker there on the back side of the window there's a little chair for the ticket person guy and he has a little dresser there with an envelope on top oh there's also a little subway map in the subway area on the first floor there which is nice I like subway maps outside of the build looks really good got nice sidewalk detail gutters little flowers I love how they did the brickwork on this uh, I guess nougat color they alternated these but here on the corner I really liked how they did that with uh, the L tiles and alternated them went up like that great sign here for the says subway Shanghai has a little subway icon underneath it lots of flowers on the top brings out a lot of detail more flowers over here now on this side we got a little cafe we got another like, chain thing so people know to go this way I guess croissant down here a little coffee machine another pressure gauge there you can see a little coffee up in the hopper on top some cups here to grab and down here there's a little sticker for some looks like tomato juice maybe I don't know some snacks down there let's spin it around and get into the second floor We've got a nice blue and white floor up here I think this is the subway controller's office is my guess we got a water fountain here hot and cold some little water in there he this little guy's on a nice looking chair that spins around he's got a big desk keyboard mouse mug there two monitors and then a little post-it board on the back there he's trying to figure out what 23 times 16 equals it looks like something like that he's got a lamp in the corner he's got an art easel here with he has a paintbrush but I don't know why he would be painting this this looks like something he'd probably do on a computer or a display so maybe it's like a dry erase board or something I don't know, a lot of subway information on that same with the monitors it says speed and looks like a map of where the subway is there's these lights on the floor I'm not entirely sure what that is I thought that was a like the I forget what it's called the little tray that you put your paints on as you're painting I don't know why that's on the floor and why they're translucent they look like lights rather than paint to me so I'm not sure what that is if someone can figure that out let me know and then you got some more details with these little diamond crystal things up on the wall there this guy obviously has a fancy office and then coming around to the roof a lot of great detail on the roof um, you got these little tan ones here and here love this detail here pretty sure that's just from a Lego set but it looks really great and then on the top you got these peaked windows that hinge over and then you got this wing and then this clock nice clock thing I just didn't look it up I don't know if that's actually on a Shanghai subway station or not or if it's just um, creative there and then on the bottom there are some clear flat pieces to help you to slide around so it doesn't get caught easy makes it nice one thing that's awesome is so this is my first set from Laws that has the minifigures uh, before that they their mini street mini series comes with a little micro guy but you can't really do much and they all look the same but this is the first one I've had with mini figures and they look awesome um, you have to put them all together uh, like their feet hands arms waist everything so a little more involved than the Lego ones but one thing I like about them over the Lego is that their knees bend so you can really pose them really cool we'll see if they hold up as well as the Lego ones with that extra joint there but most of mine are going to be for display not playing with anyway so I like that the knee there with the more display but let's look at these mini figures we got this cowboy guy he's got a cowboy hat dressing sharp he's got a luggage here some stickers on both sides looks like he's traveled a lot up next we got the subway controller or the worker he's got a blue jacket white undershirt some spiky hair he looks like a younger guy with some glasses he's in charge of everything upstairs it looks like next we got this lady who looked like she was on her way to work riding the subway there uh, to me she looks like a flight attendant she's got some pink pants she's got a gray jacket and then a pink shirt and scarf to match she's got a nice hair piece as well 
And then the last minifigure we have is the singer performing down in the subway. He's wearing blue jeans, got a black leather jacket, white undershirt, got a big money sign necklace and a little music note thing on his lapel there. He's got some shades and his hair swept to the side, so definitely looks like a cool musician. So that's about it guys. Man, I really like this set. Like I said numerous times, it was so much fun to build. I love looking at it. It's going to be on my shelf for a while. I just love all the detail and the different scenes. Man, yeah, it's just such a good set. Otherwise, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe so you can catch the next one.